Welcome to Garden Wise Adventures. My name is Malie, and today we're going to update you on the experiment I was going to do with my covered hoop houses. Now, um, it was not what I had hoped it to be, so let's show you what happened. So we're here in my upper gardens, and this is my hoop house that is supposed to be a covered hoop house. Sorry for the shadow in the background. The sun is, you know, it's today is daylight savings time. The sun has changed, and so we've got shadows. But as you can see, my hoop house is not covered, and all of my beautiful little vegetables inside are toast. Um, if I did cover it now, we might get some to recover. I doubt it though. Now what had happened is I had planned on at least doing the inside plastic covering on this. You know, we had a freeze that was coming uh, and it actually went down to 15 degrees at my house. But I did not have time to get the plastic covering over the hoop house. I was hoping these things would be fine but they weren't. So we're just gonna leave this and see how early we can start vegetables in the spring. I'm gonna put the plastic on it um, by the end of the week, not to protect anything, but so I can just have it ready for the spring so I can just put vegetables in there when I'm ready. My tomatoes are completely gone. Took out my grapes. It froze the leaves on the trees. You know, they're pretty much crunchy and dead. So, you know, it's, we're on our way to winter. Let's show you what happened in my other hoop house. Before we get there, there is my artichokes. I'm just gonna leave the leaves on these for the rest of the winter and hope they protect the crown a little bit. They're not as hardy for this area, but we've been having mild winters, so they have actually made it through. We'll see if we can make, this one was planted two years ago. It didn't fruit this year, so we'll see what happens next year. Now here's the hoop house that I did have the single layer of plastic over and it made a huge difference. It was really, really cold, so we still had some damage. As you can see, the leaves are not looking completely healthy, but it didn't, compl it didn't completely kill everything off. Now, the tomatoes and the peppers were absolute toast. It was not, it didn't give enough protection for that. But at least I'll have some kale over the winter. Now let's show you the bed that was not covered in that seven degree, 17 degree temperatures. This bed over here had beets and uh, kale and chard, and it was completely uncovered and unprotected. The beets are pretty much gone. I think the roots are okay. I'm gonna harvest those and use those, see if they're okay. But look at the chard here. As I said, it was 15 degrees. Once I take the dead leaves off of these, I think they will regrow. This is the red Russian kale. They were hit pretty hard, but they are not gone. Now my ground cherries, and every single one of those were green when the freeze hit. You know, all the little ground cherries were green, so there's no fruit in them but completely took out their ground cherries. So as you can see, we did have some survivors. Let me show you what else survived really well. Now rosemary is supposed to not be hardy, you know, down to those temperatures, but this is my ARP rosemary that's approximately 12 years old. And I'll put a, I'll put a link at the top that shows you how I take care of it. But this ARP rosemary did not even get touched. There's not a single bit of freeze damage on this. And it makes me really happy. Now, one thing that I did do is I made sure to water it really deeply the night before the freeze. And that usually helps to stop any freeze damage. Now, as I look at it though, there was one tiny spot. You can see these, this one area, that's freeze damage right there. Just on the tips of the uppermost tops. The rest of it, seems just fine. So I guess we're not going to be able to finish the experiment that I had hoped we would do to see how well a double layered hoop house would work. We're going to start it in the spring. I am going to figure out how early I want to start my vegetable seeds for the spring 
and see how early I can get them into that d double layered hoop house. So I'm not giving up completely yet, but that early freeze really did put a wrench in my plans, which is generally what happens when you're gardening. So always have a plan B. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, even if, though it was a little bit shorter. Let me know what you are doing in your gardens to put everything to bed, or if you have put everything to bed yet, and have a wonderful GardenWise adventure.